Hey guys, it's Brittany, aka Charlie B. Um, I know it's been a while. My apologies. Uh, but I do have two videos uh, after this one um, that have already been filmed. I've just been really super busy in the past like two, three weeks or so, however long it's been. So I didn't have time to edit them. Um, but hopefully they should be up either today or tomorrow, okay? Um, and a little slight change of background. The sun was out, so I decided to utilize it. Um, excuse my dying roses. Um, <laughs> I'm terrible with flowers. Thank goodness I have a nonchalant boyfriend because I know he paid a grip for those. Um, but anyway, so I, t today I want to talk to you guys about deep conditioners. Mainly because I found a deep conditioner that finally 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 does exactly what i'm looking for and my definition of a perfect deep conditioner is one that um almost creates the effect of you just being able to comb through your hair as if it's not wet as if it's not detangled it detangles your hair for you you know and pretty much um or it at least does 85 to 90 percent of the job now i know that may sound like i'm reaching a bit but it's possible, so I'm going to get to it. Now, um, actually, before I tell you which one I finally find, I'm going to go through the ones that I've used throughout the years. Now, so I think I've gone through my product junkie phase. You know, we all have gone through it. And if you are a transitioning natural, you will continue to go through it. But hopefully, <laughs> these my videos and these videos on YouTube um, will shorten that time span for you. Because you will spend some money, girl, Okay. Um, all right, so first one up is the Cantu Shea Butter. You guys say that the Cantu Shea Butter Leave In Conditioning Repair Cream. Now, I'm not really sure if this is supposed to be a deep conditioner. Let me see. Yeah, leave in treatment, apply as directed for daily styling, which daily styling is just you put it on your hair. Um, just as I've shown you in I think my first video, the wash and go. Um, just after shampooing, reapply and cover with a plastic cap overnight for maximum absorption and intense conditioning. All right, now. On one hand, you could say I've, I haven't tried it. I haven't, um, excuse me, I haven't tried it, you know, overnight. But on the other hand, you can because I use this as my daily conditioner. Uh, da uh, excuse me, daily um, moisturizer. But it doesn't really, con like, I don't feel like my hair is detangled. It could be because my hair is dry. That could be the case. But I, I, I don't know. This is kind of, I don't know. I haven't really tried it per se in that, you know, in that capacity. But like I told you guys before, it is a great daily moisturizer. So when your hair is curly, don't put it on your hair straight. It's just too thick. But you know that. Okay. Next up. <sighs> okay, these next two products I'm going to talk to you about fall into that category of, um, I've, Find this product online. People, ton of people are talking about it. It's getting all these rave reviews. I try it. Um, it doesn't work out the greatest, but I convince myself that it's amazing because everybody else said it was. No, get your don't get yourself out of that phase. If it doesn't work for you, don't convince yourself that it does. One of the main reasons why I did that is because I'm, you know, I'm starting to think, oh, there's nothing else there that I only have limited. Not true. Okay. Not freaking true. You just keep trying, all right? So, <laughs> first one of those is the Eden Body Works All Natural Deep Conditioner. And I was really disappointed with this. I was, like, super disappointed because, you know, like I said, this got so many rave reviews. Everybody was saying, especially when it came out, because I feel like, I don't know if it came out a year ago, but I know everybody started talking about it, like, a year ago. And, um... Yeah, it got so so many rave reviews, and I was expecting to, it to do wonders for my hair. Child, I might as well have put water in my hair and called it a day, okay? And it So it said, it tells you, apply to apply to clean wet hair, comb through for thorough distribution, leave in for 15 to 30 minutes, rinse and style as usual. For more intensive conditioning, use with heat. I've kept this on before for an hour. So I gave that to her, but I wasn't running to the store to go back and get it. So that should be a telltale sign. If you if you run out and you're not running to get this product again, you need to stop and tell yourself, you know what, this actually is not as good as I'm trying to convince myself that it is. Um, but my friend said the same thing. We actually talked about it recently, like last week or whatever, and she was like, yeah, Britt, it wasn't good. I was like, girl, 
took my condition that wasn't even good. Nah, it didn't matter. Um, next up. The deep treatment mask by Shea Moisture. Y'all, I just don't think Shea Moisture is for me. I feel like I feel I somewhat feel bad. But again, that's just in the mentality of everybody says it works great, everybody loves it, so I'm supposed to love it too. Like I said, you gotta get out of that. Um I'm mostly out of that. That's why I only feel bad, but I'm not still using it. But this is yeah, this isn't that great either. It's supposed to be for dry damaged hair. Um like I said, it's a deep treatment mask. So in a sense, it's supposed to be like a repair cream. I think they do have a separate repair repair mask though, so don't don't take my word for that as far as the um repair cream. But it's it says it's our all natural intensive treatment mask deeply moisturizes and repairs dry, damaged, and overprocessed hair. Perfect for transitioning chemically treated hair to natural. So, um, my subscribers out there that are transitioning, maybe try it. Um, I, I wasn't trying this when I was trying transitioning, but I will tell you the moisture aspect that they're talking about. Lies told on Twitter. Okay, no. No. It was not moisturizing. It was... I'm trying to think if it was better than the Eden Body Works. They might be in the same boat. Um, what they have in it is... And it's and, and it's supposed to be all natural. That's the part that sucks. Um, so there's no sulfates, no parabens, no gluten, no propylene, glyco, no mineral oil, no synthetic fragrance, no synthetic color, no animal ingredients. And it has um, water, of course, shea butter, argan oil, vegetable glycerin, emulsifying wax, sea kelp extract, vitamin B5, essential oil blend. Thanks for telling, not telling us what that is, Shea Moisture. Um, avocado oil, honeysuckle, Japanese honeysuckle, vitamin E, soybean oil, sage, carrot oil. All the things that are supposed to be amazing when it comes to deep conditioning. So I don't know where they missed a the mark. I, I I really don't know. That's kind of sad. But oh, also I that. forgot to tell you, in case you are interested in eating body works, the ingredients. Again, water. Um has two alcohols that I cannot pronounce the first word right now, and I'm not about to embarrass myself. <laughs> Jojoba oil, which is like the eleventh ingredient. Carrot chamomile, sweet almond, and castor oils, uh, tea tree oil as well, and vitamin E. So another one that's like, that should have been great because I've used all of those, well, not all of them, but I've used a lot of those oils. Come on, man. Um, next two are all natural. I don't have them on hand. Um, first one is coconut oil. I was just, it's in my bathroom. I just forgot to take it out before I made the video. <laughs> but uh, I haven't used that as a deep conditioner. But what I have done, I use it as a detangler, which you'll see in um, one of the videos that I'm gonna gonna post either later today or tomorrow. And um, that worked great. Like I've heard of that for a while, and I just never got around to doing it. And I didn't have a detangler on on hand. Um, I didn't want to use a conditioner because I wasn't washing my hair. So um, yeah, it was it was really good. I I parted my hair in sections. Uh, pretty much saturated it with the coconut oil, um, you know, rubbing my hands, saturated it, and then put water in it. Um, and it was, yeah, it was, it was pretty good. The only um, con I will say is that if you're not washing your hair, it does, it will leave a little greasy feel. Um, and like I've told you guys before, I'm not the biggest fan of that. It wasn't that big of a deal because my hair was still in its curly state, so I don't mind it much when it's in its curly state as compared to when it's straight. Um, so yeah, I would just suggest using it for a curly straight, but maybe one day I'll use it as, as a deep conditioner. Um, that's so that's on my. I haven't tried it, but uh, it has the promise. next one in the all natural category is the avocado mask. Um, I mentioned it before, I think in one of my straightening videos. Um, I didn't do a video for it, but uh, if you do want that video, let me know. I'll definitely do that for you. But I tried it three different times. Uh, oh, excuse me. Let me tell you what it is. It's avocado with olive oil and honey. I tried it three different times. First time worked really, really good. My hair was straight. Second time, 
um, my hair was was curly. We started off in a curly state, left them off for 15 minutes, maybe a half hour, same amount of time that I did the first time. Didn't really do a good job. Um, but I figured it's because, well, oh, I also used the avocado oil that time, I think, yeah. The third time, I used out the avocado oil as well as uh, um, as compared to a regular, um, I can't freaking talk, y'all. As compared to a actual avocado, left that on for three hours. That go around. Plastic cap, scarf on my head, because the scarf creates like that heat effect if you don't have a hair dryer or if you don't feel like setting under one. A um, little better, a little better. Um, so, but it wasn't great. And um, I have to go around back and try it again. This time with an actual avocado. I didn't. The reason why I didn't try the actual avocado is because the freaking lumps. I was taking them out of my freaking hair like crazy. So maybe I'll go back to it. We'll see. Like I said, if you guys want a video, then I'll try it with the actual avocado on, and I'll start on curly hair. So you guys know how it turns out. Now, the final one, and the one I want to talk to you guys about: the RS Olive Oil Replenishing Conditioner. Girl, child, listen. This is, I talked to you guys about this in my straightening video, one of them. Um, like I said, I just, this wasn't the, the usual conditioner that I had used. I ran them out of my old one, ran to the beauty supply store, couldn't find the old one. And I picked this one up because I used it before. It smells really good. Yeah, what does it smell like? I can't think of what it smells like, but it's, it's like oranges. Yeah, it's like oranges. It smells good. <laughs> Smells good. It's it was seven ninety nine. Um, excuse me, six ninety nine. So seven dollars is what I was meant to say. And I think this is like I was just using it as a regular conditioner. But the so the particular day I needed it, I didn't have any time to go run to the store. Um, I didn't have any time to go uh, research another deep conditioner. So I decided like you know what, let me just leave this on my hair for longer. I, let me I pre pooed with it. So. Um, the directions, though, say to after shampooing with the ORS Olive Oil Creamy Aloe Shampoo, which typically I don't care about them telling me what shampoo to use, but I'm actually kind of interested in, in trying that out. I might venture away from Pantene for a little bit. Um, apply a generous amount to hair and comb through for thorough distribution. Place a plastic cap over the hair and sit under a warm dryer for 10 to 15 minutes or leave on the hair for 45 minutes to one hour without heat. And rinse thoroughly. Now, let me just tell you. The first time that I used it and, it, and it did a pretty good job, What I think I let it sit for 15 minutes, half hour, no heat. I think I put a plastic cap on. Definitely didn't put a scarf on, so definitely no heat. Um, and, it, and it did its job, which is why I was like, okay, you know, let me see if this works. I left it on for an hour and a half to two hours. Shower cap, did my scarf. Now, let me tell you, my hair was super freaking detangled that time. Super, super detangled. Because um, I hadn't combed out my hair, but my hair was still in the, in the style that I was in. So I hadn't combed it out for like four four or five days. The style kept pretty well. Um, I wasn't being bad this time. That's not why. <laughs> and listen, like I told you at the beginning, my definition of a great deep conditioner is one that creates a lot of slip, one that pretty much detangles your hair 80-90% so you don't have to do most of the work. Child, this was like 95%. You understand? 97.9%. Okay? I was like, what? I mean, after reading the directions, it sounds like, I mean, I, maybe it is supposed to be a deep conditioner. And I just didn't know. But I don't, I, I feel like, I could be wrong, but I feel like they have another um, product that's advertised as a deep conditioner. So that's why I just thought this was a regular conditioner. But this this word right here, this word, replenishing. Don't look at my nails, y'all. That replenishing, they ain't never lied. They never lied. Okay. So, yes. So, all right. So that's it for today. Like I said, check out, look out for those next two videos. Um, and like I said, possibly three if I can get that hot roller video up. And I'll let you guys on clip.